Okay, hello, my name is Kamil Weiss and I would like to briefly talk to you about uh, declarative data collection uh, with Hello, <laughs> my name is Kamil Weiss and I would like to talk to you about declarative data collection with instant feedback, of course, in R and Shiny. So, what is an instant feedback? Sometimes while collecting declarative data, we would like to provide our respondents feedback rele relevant to their answer and we would like to do that immediately after they answer our question. Additionally, we should be able to customize uh, the feedback to each respondent. You can think of a real-world example of this approach uh, as, uh, uh, for example, salary surveys, which ask people about their current salary and compare it to the salaries of people similar to them. So let's replicate a very min minimalistic example of such salary survey uh, with instant feedback in R and Shiny. So this is our uh, sur uh, survey with one question. The question is obviously about salary. And the question is, how much do you earn? And then uh, you have a comprehensive set of possible answers. Uh, so there is enough, more than I need, less than my neighbor. And uh, let's say I choose enough. So yes, my answer was enough. That's not bad, this is feedback for me. And I can see the distribution of answer of other users and in the red is also shown uh, where my answer is located uh, relatively to uh, answers of other users. So when I change, uh, when I'm changing my answer, there also the feedback is changing uh, correspondingly. So if I answered less than my neighbor, that's, oh, it's a pity, yes. And uh, again, I can see that my uh, feedback uh, change. So my goal in this project is to develop the ODGAR framework. ODGAR stands for, for online declarative data gathering, analyzing, and reporting. So in this ODGAR framework design, uh, the main most fundamental element are uh, IQAF objects, which provide high level of abstraction for declarative data collection with instant feedback. And those objects are based on R6 classes and can uh, consist of four subcomponents: introduction, question, answer, and feedback. And those subcomponents can be uh, complex objects uh, themselves. So, Let's define very simple uh, IQ uh, AF uh, objects with two components. The first line of code uh, is creating uh, the new object. The second line of code is defining uh, the question, how much do you earn? The third line of code is defining what is the type of the answer. And last but not least, I'm defining possible choices for that answer. Enough, more than I need, less than my neighbor. But the real magic should happen right now when we are defining the final Shiny app. So here, uh, if you can see that there is probably uh, only, the two, only two lines of code that are really important. The first line of code uh, is responsible for rendering the whole IQF object, and the second line of code creates all the necessary observers. And that's, that's all what we need to build uh, this exemplary uh, app, shiny app that I shown you before. So the goal of this project is to deliver a useful tool for quickly developing <laughs> web data products based on declarative data collection with instant feedback, which work with different types of answers and feedbacks and are mobile ready. And on this uh, slide, you can uh, see some uh, screenshots of uh, mobile, uh, mobile application, uh, which was tested on Android devices and, of course, was developed in R and Shiny with, uh, with this framework. 
Thank you.